Hi everyone, welcome to the visual guide for the burden of the sun normal, also known as Alexander 8. In this encounter, we jump into a Saturday morning cartoon, ready to defeat the forces of evil. My name is Ms. Tech, and I'll be your raid guide. Throughout the entire fight, players will have to avoid these AoE missiles, so be on the lookout for these at all times. First up, Mega Beam. The boss will turn to a random player and begin to cast this massive column attack. All players should move away from his front to avoid this. Perpetual Ray is a long tank buster that first applies a debuff on the primary tank before slamming them with a few high damage attacks. Cooldown or tank swap during this is necessary. Whenever the boss casts Execution, four steam regulators will spawn around the room that must be destroyed before they destroy you. Split your damage between these four adds and burn them down as fast as possible. If they explode, they will debuff the raid with damage down and vulnerability stacks, which won't bode well for your success in the fight. Discoid will summon four orbs that tether to players. If these orbs reach their tethered target, they will die. To avoid this, other players need to intercept and pop the orbs before. Heal through this damage as necessary. All of these abilities will repeat until the onslaughter is down. Congratulations on defeating Alexander Midas. But wait, there's more. Looks like some robot buddies have come back with a vengeance. Assign one tank for each add while the raid focuses one down. These have the same abilities they had on the second floor, so handle each as necessary. I would recommend burning down the brawler to minimize the potential high damage from his arm attacks. Dodge and spread for the Vortexer's AoE attacks as necessary. Once both are down, Swindler and Blaster will drop down. Handle your high or low debuffs appropriately and stay out of the way of the charging clones. Players marked with the circle marker will have to stack with the appropriate number of players or stand alone and eat the debuff. Once all four adds are destroyed, the fight is finally over. Oh wait, no it's not. I forgot that this is the longest encounter ever. The adds and the onslaughter will now join forces, turning into brute justice. Again, players should be on the lookout for Mega Beam, ensuring they're not in front during this cast. Long Needle will mark up a player to stack on. The ray needs to collapse in on this player to share the damage. Short Needle is randomly targeted AoE blasts on the platform. Heal through these as necessary. BJ will turn to a random player and channel Apocalyptic Ray. All players need to be behind him at this time or risk taking high damage and stacking debuffs. When he casts Super Jump, he will target a random player and leap on them. To avoid extra damage, players should spread apart. Periodically, he will leap up and drill slam in the middle of the platform, doing massive AoE damage. Heal through this as necessary. Tanks will need to watch for Flamethrower, a frontal cone, and double rocket punch, a tank buster that should be mitigated through heavy cooldowns or by having both tanks stack to soak the damage. At around 55%, BJ will fly up and start throwing a whole lot of nonsense AoE attacks at us. Healers will have to be on their toes on this part, and all other players are essentially running around like maniacs, avoiding AoE puddles and crazy robots and their mechanics as necessary. All of these abilities you've dealt with before multiple times, and it's time to put that knowledge to good use. Eventually, BJ will return and the phase mechanics will repeat. Congratulations on finally defeating Alexander Midas. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Up next, we'll take a look at Alexander Midas Savage. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.